2015 football offseason kicked off with a bang. Started in July and led into this August. Both of our teams here at the Eagle Pass Independent School District are certainly in to win it. We have coaches Eric Villasenor and coach Tom Gonzalez from the Eagle Pass Eagles and found out our strengths, weaknesses, and what sort of conditioning plans the football players are grueling during this hot summer season. Here's looking at the 2015 Coaches Corner. Everything you get, you earn, and uh, we felt like uh, going back to basics and and uh, changing their attitude. So we kind of went back and thought about it and said, you know what, you're going to earn what you get. And everything they got in off season, if they got the t-shirt, if they got their shorts, that meant that they earned it. You know, we didn't want to divide our varsity and our JV during the off season. We wanted everyone to earn their spot. On any team, in any district, in any sport, you know, depth has a big deal. It, you know, especially in football, it's such a grueling stretch where not only do you play 10 weeks of games, but you also have to the preparation before, which is four weeks before. And then if you make the playoffs, it's another two, three, four weeks, you know, so you're going to have injuries. You're going to have people with different, different excuses, I guess. And uh, you're going to have to have good enough players backing them up and in order to, to go the long run. Having Mark in the backfield for any coach is something that you look forward to because Mark is such a great kid. He works hard. He earned being a captain this year. He was voted in. He's fast and you know anytime he gets the ball he's gonna have a chance to break and he did last year with a lot of the best teams on our schedule you know and uh, you know he's just a real good athlete and really good to have on your team. Our defense didn't meet up to our expectations last year. This year, we feel like these returners, uh, going back to their off-season work habits and everything, they've started off on a good note. I feel like their leadership on defense and the, everything they've earned is going to be big for our defense. Well, first of all, Ty, who was our three-year starter, a sophomore, he, he was big. He went on to better, bigger things at Texas A&M Kingsville, and, uh, you know, we wish him good luck. But Allen coming in, Allen's done a tremendous job. He's changed his attitude. He's grown up a lot. I'm very proud of the way he's worked, and uh, he can run the offense. He, we're not going to – you skip a beat because Ty was such a great athlete, but Allen's picking up, you know, right where we, we expect him to. With hard work, determination, and perseverance, good results are bound to follow. This season, the CC win Mighty Mavericks, being led once again by coach Eric Villasenor, is a season unlike any other. Preseason began on July the 6th, and kickoff time for practices started on August the 3rd. We caught up with coach Eric Villasenor to get the scoop on preseason and summer workout training for a season that we're sure will be unlike any other. We got some positive momentum I'm heading into the into the off season. Obviously, it's a process. Things don't happen overnight. You know, success you know takes time. It takes time, effort, and lots of energy. Uh, our numbers have increased. Right now, we have 171 kids in our program, grades uh, 9th through 12, our freshman JV and varsity. So, you know, that's a sign of, of progress. And uh, you know, we tell the kids it's a process to trust it, to trust us, and we're going to give them 110 percent each and every day. I think going in as a staff, you know, you want to be more balanced. You don't want to give away any tendencies. But obviously, you know, during the game, that, that can change. You got to have the flexibility to adjust. But, uh, you know, as we game plan and scheme, uh, we go into to Friday nights with a balanced attack. You know, what we preach is, is getting lined up correctly. You can't get lined up right on defense. You're going to get beat by a lineman. Um, play with an attitude, with a positive attitude and with relentless effort. We want to have a relentless effort out in the field and we want to tackle well. I mean, defense is lining up correctly, tackling well, playing good uh, sound coverage on the back end, and that's really what we're, we're preaching right now in fall camp. You know, all of our position battles right now are, are up for grabs. Nothing set in stone is what we tell the kids. And, you know, they got to show up every day, give us the, the right frame of mind, and have, have the responsibility to get better each and every day. Uh, the intriguing position battle will be at the tailback position. We lost uh, Dion Alonso, who was the most outstanding uh, position player in our district last year. So 
and, and that's one of the, our key figures in our offense is our, is our tailback position. So as we evaluate and move on through the weeks, you know, we, we will decide on that heading into week one versus a great old We've got five returning starters on offense and six returning starters on defense. Um, it's very, can't replace experience, and that's what those guys bring to the table. So we expect them to be the extension of us, which is coaches on the field. We'd like to invite the community to come out to meet the Mavericks August 26th at 6.30 p.m. in CC1 Gymnasium. Also, we'd like to extend the invitation to our season opener versus uh, Laredo LBJ. That'll be August 28th at the EPISD SAC. Kickoff time is 7.30. And you can go out and get your season tickets at the athletic office as well. Thanks for your support. We invite everyone to come out and uh, enjoy some football on Friday nights, whether it's Eagle Pass Eagles or CC Win Mavericks. Support both teams. Both teams are working hard. It's just a great time of year. Everyone looks forward to football season. It, it changes the tone of the community. So come out and support both teams. Keep up with all the best highlights on our social media access points on Facebook, Twitter, and on our blog. We'll see you at the Friday Night Lights. While I'm sipping on this gin, Al Davis said it best, just win, baby, win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get it up. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there.